All right, what's going on guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Dokkan battle video. And today we are going to be taking on the resurrected warrior stage of Super Battle Road with, of course, a resurrected warriors team headlined by the brand new tech Majin Vegeta, the Int Super Saiyan 2 Angel Goku, as well as the STR EZA Majin Vegeta. Now, of course, I could have brought the AGL Super Saiyan 2 Goku instead, and that probably would have been the better option since that guy's rainbowed, whereas this Goku is only at 55% in the hidden potential system. But honestly, I feel like this guy's more fun to run, and even at 55% with no dupes, he's still a monster. So I think, I think we'll be okay. Anyways, the rest of the team is... Wait, hold up. That is the wrong team. This one... <laughs> is the team we're bringing today we got the golden frieza we got the int lr cell as well as the tech easy a cell so uh, there we go guys the friend here i believe has two dupes so pretty solid and without further ado let's jump in and see how things go now i'll be honest it's been a minute since i've done super battle road at least I want to say like three or four months since I actually completed a stage, so to expect some mistakes along the way, um, hopefully we won't die. I mean, this team is good. This team is good, but I am a little bit worried about the Goku and the Vegeta with no dupes. I think they're still going to perform pretty well here, but we got to be a little bit careful. So why don't we start off by, uh, you know, I'll put Golden Frieza here and let's just... Let's keep the Majin Vegeta in because I just want to use him as much as possible. I feel like the Cell, of course, is the better option for tanking, but we want to use the Vegeta. So keep them there. And uh, do we need to items the question? I feel like we don't. Although I might be underestimating Super Battle Road at this point because I've been in it so many times. It's still like kind of dangerous, right? Like these enemies still hit pretty hard, but I think Golden Frieza can handle it. I'm pretty sure Golden Frieza can handle it, so let's go for our, our uh, girl Videl here. And he can super, perfect. Uh, do I let Majin Vegeta super or Cell super? We're gonna let Majin Vegeta super, okay. And, and uh, Cell can actually still get a super off, perfect. So we should be able to finish off Videl here. And, and we're moving on to the next stage, basically. Well, I mean, we've still got Gohan, I guess. All right, let's see, okay, so double digits for the normal attacks. I feel like a super could still maybe hurt a little bit. I mean, it is Golden Frieza, which, like, he doesn't really take damage. So I don't have to worry about him too much. I'm pretty sure. All right, no super anyways. Yo, Majin Vegeta's gonna get supered. Majin Vegeta's gonna get supered. Is he? Oh, wow. Okay, so we just went a full turn without getting a single super. Some pretty good RNG to start. Really good RNG to start, actually. I don't remember the last time I started a Super Battle Road run. I didn't get supered first turn. Yeah, it's been a while. Okay. So, I think on this turn, we should probably pop an item. Um, unless I want to play it a little bit risky. I mean, 96,000 defense for Goku is not bad. 85,000 for Vegeta. But uh, let's just be a little bit safe. All right, let's not underestimate, <laughs> underestimate these guys too much. Um, let's finish off Fidel. And, ooh, okay, here's the question. Should I save those orbs for Cell so he gets a lot of attack and defense, or should I give them to Vegeta because it's more fun that way? <laughs> okay, let's give these to Vegeta. Hopefully, we can still super with Cell. I think we can, actually. Does he get two key with rainbow orbs or three? I mean, either way, actually, it doesn't look like we can get a super off. Um... Wow, okay, so this might be bad. This could be bad. Because we're only getting like three orbs right now with Cell, and we also have type disadvantage. So hopefully if we get supered, it's not Cell that gets supered. That's what I'm really scared about right now, man. Okay, come on, finish off Videl at least. At least finish off Videl. Dude, this Goku is tanking really, really well, damn. Um, He should be at around like 110k, 120k defense. And we're taking all these attacks right now for double digits. Um, pretty impressive. Okay, here's the super, right? No, the super's gotta be here. You can't go two turns in a We just went two turns in a row without getting supered at all. That happens? That actually happens? I don't... 
Wow, okay, yo. <laughs> I don't know what's going on here. I'm not gonna complain. I'm not gonna complain. It's just I don't really remember how, when the last time was that there were two turns in a row on Super Battle Road where there wasn't a single super. That must be pretty rare, man. I must have gotten like super, super lucky there. Damn. Okay, uh, let's give these five orbs to the Easy A Vegeta. And he's going to get up to ooh, 102,000 defense. Not the greatest, but actually we do still have the uh, Icarus active, right? So I don't think we should take that much damage either way. Uh, there we go, 77. Yep. Pretty good. Wait, hold on. Last turn we popped the Icarus. So I was saying about, I was saying how like impressed I was by the tanking of Goku, but... I mean, with the Icarus active, I guess it's not that impressive. He's taking double digits, right? So, uh, yeah, I forget about what I said before, man. <laughs> How do I pop an item and then completely, like, immediately forget that I used the item? That's literally what happened, right? I used the item, and then I forgot I used the item. So then I was super impressed by Goku's tanking. I was like, yo, this guy with 120k defense is tanking this well. But, of course, we used the item, so it's not really that impressive, right? Okay, so if we want to really test, really, really test his defense, we should put him here again and not give him any more, uh, not use any items, right? But I feel like this is going to get us killed. But I don't want to pop another item, so... Uh, yeah, screw it. Yo, screw it. We're not going to use any items here. Uh, he's up to 95,000. Wait, hold on. Doesn't he get more, def Doesn't he get more defense, attack and defense with the uh, orbs? So his defense should have gone up, no? Um... Yeah, attack and defense plus 30% when attacking with 3 or more key, uh, yeah, orbs obtained. Interesting. Maybe he only gets the defense after he attacks. That's a possibility, I guess. Okay, we'll see. We'll see, guys. Um, This is the true test of Goku's tanking capabilities. And that first attack was not super promising. Uh, 190k, alright. Okay, um... Still alive. <laughs> We're still alive. That's actually not that bad. We still have about 50% HP. And then after we super... Yeah, there we go. Okay, so after we attack, we get the additional defense. I was confused for a second. I was like, why are we still at 95,000 defense? So, uh, good thing to keep in mind. He doesn't get the additional defense until he attacks. So we'll attack and defense. Alright, that's fine. No, that, that super did not hurt me nearly as much as I thought it would. Alright, so this is... Probably going to be the final turn. Uh, 136,000 defense from Vegeta is pretty decent. And uh, if the first Majin Vegeta doesn't finish it off, the second Majin Vegeta should definitely, definitely do the job here. Okay, look at that tanking. All right, so double digits for normals. Super here is going to do... Oh! Whoa! Whoa! Why did we get hit so hard? Whoa! I, I I thought we were gonna do better than that. I really did. I really thought we would have tanked that better. Well, okay, something to keep in mind. <laughs> something to keep in mind. Um, we gotta be careful with that EZA Majin Vegeta too. Man, with 136k or 38k or whatever he was at, I, I thought it was, gonna, it was gonna be okay, but we almost died there, man. If we didn't get the stun, we might have died. If we didn't get the stun, we might have died. Alright, like I said, guys, it's been a while since I've done Super Battle Road, so um, I definitely underestimated the Gohan there, but we're not gonna do that again. We're not gonna do that again. Next turn, I'm gonna pop that uh, Icarus. And... We'll make sure that we don't, you know, come close to almost dying. Ooh. Oh, that's sick. Okay, so you know what? Never mind. Not Princess... Uh, did I say Princess Snake or Icarus before? I meant to say Princess Snake, but I think since we're healing up all, all the way back to full with the cell, um, we're actually going to forgo the snake, but I still probably should pop like, a, like an Icarus here. So we'll, just, we'll go with just Icarus. And... It's a lot of freaking attacks at the front, but we have so many orbs for EZA, but gee, I'm not really concerned. So, what is that? One, two, three, four. 
five six seven eight nine one two three four five six seven eight nine ten okay so 10 orbs here and that's gonna give us 159k with the icarus we should be fine and then oh crap i should have targeted the go 10 that's my mistake okay that's my bad all right um and we'll give these two give these to sell let's just try to kill trunks first it's fine all right so yeah, I think with all that defense and with the item, 57k right there, like I said, I was going to say under 100k, so yeah, right around 50, 60k, that's, that's fine. All right, 3.4 mil, 3.4 mil for the super, ah, no crit though, crit would have been nice, crit would have been really nice, uh, about 2.5 mil from the friend Majin Vegeta, who of course has two dupes. I didn't realize actually Majin Vegeta's attack is really high, man. 16.9k with two dupes is pretty solid. But then again, the EZA Majin Vegeta at Rainbow Status has over 18,000 attack. Which is really ridiculous. 18,000 attack is really, really crazy for a non token FS unit, man. Okay, so... Let's try to finish off the trunks here. I'm, uh... I'm gonna still take, keep EZA Cell out of rotation, I think. We'll give all these orbs to goku we'll give these ones actually you know what um i kind of oh you know yo actually if we give these to vegeta then the tech orbs to drop so we should still get that super with cell perfect uh i should attack goten but i'm gonna go for trunk still because i want to just have one enemy to deal with all right so here's the goten super and we're taking 91k yeah that's fine that's okay all right, about 2 mil with the Goku. We still haven't seen a transformation yet from him. Which is a little bit annoying. Because obviously he hits a lot harder. And just is overall a lot better once he transforms. Um, it would make things a lot easier if we can get the transformation off with, the, with both these guys. But they're still good without the transformations. That's the thing. Um, even if they, these two like stay in their Super Saiyan 2 forms. They still hit pretty hard. They still do some decent tanking. It's just they're better obviously transformed, right? Here we go, guys. Almost done with the trunks. I'm thinking... I'm thinking we keep Vegeta here. And he's at 159,000 defense now. Um, then... Oh, man, we didn't get the transformation off. You know what, though? Actually, if I kill trunks, then we shouldn't even have any attacks on the Majin Vegeta, the second one, so... Yeah, that's fine. Okay, and then I'll just give like two orbs to a golden freeze. It doesn't really matter. All right, so hopefully we don't get supered first. There we go. And now Trunks should be dead. Um, actually, a Goten super would still be pretty bad. Oh my god. The first super was like, what, 3.4 mil? Second super, 3.8? Was that 3.8 that I saw? That's dumb, man. That's dumb, in like the best way. Like, <laughs> these guys are crushing it. <laughs> these guys are absolutely crushing it. Um, I wanna pop this active skill, man. I never get to see this active skill. So now that we have a chance to actually use it, we gotta use it. All right, like how often do you guys see this active skill? Not very often, I'm guessing. Like once in like a hundred runs, you might see this. Okay, maybe not a hundred, but you know, like uh, it, it, takes, it takes some work. It takes a lot of work to actually be able to get that um, active skill off. All right, uh, so I'm gonna put the Majin Vegeta here, I think, just to tank potentially a super. Oh, Doken attack. Uh, yeah, it's okay. I'll give them. I'll give the Doken attack to. Ah, it seems like such a waste, man. I should have probably given it to Cell, but I don't want to break up the two Super Saiyan twos. So this is probably still okay. I'm actually glad I kept uh, Vegeta there, because Goku would have taken a lot more damage. So, there we go. Token attack time. Five, six, seven. Boom. All done. And let's see if Goku can show us something good. I mean, he has no dupe, so he can't really crit. I'm guessing he's not going to finish it off, but Cell definitely will. We have the 18 key super with Cell, so if this doesn't... Yeah, 1.5 is okay. 2.4 mil from cell kind of underwhelming but you guys know tech cell or sorry not tech cell 
Intel's damage is like it's okay. It, it's pretty like mid for a Tokon Fest LR, you know, all things considered. Like Tokon Fest LRs, I think people just have much higher standards for them, which is understandable because in general they've been been insane. And you know, Cell's damage not being insane has definitely made him uh not like I would say underrated, honestly. I was gonna I wanna I was gonna be like maybe not, but I think underrated is the right word. Cause he is still a very, very good unit. You know what I mean? Like he's still absolutely um one of the better tanks in the game for sure, but also like it does good good damage, it's just not insane damage, which I think is the reason why people don't really love him as much as some of the other Tokon Fast LRs. But um every you know, you know what, any any time I get a opportunity to show some love to sell, I will, because I do think he's really solid. But even more so than that, uh, let's go for Pycon here. Even more so than that, I I, I couldn't pull <laughs> the Gohan and I pulled two cells. So I kind of feel like I'm obligated to show him some love, you know? So there you go. There's the, uh, you know, monthly int cell plug right there. Okay. So we pop the Icarus, uh, or the Whis rather, we shouldn't really have to worry too much about any damage this turn. Uh, Pycon has some good HP, wow. That, that, that did like 20% maybe. But yeah, we're gonna go for the Pycon because I believe he has less HP than the uh, Goku. Okay, so this is gonna do 22k, okay fine, that's okay. <laughs> that's okay, I was worried for nothing. But uh, yeah, usually with Super Rattle Road, I try to take out the weaker enemies first so we can deal with less enemies because less enemies means less attacks, right? So yeah, I think the strategy will be just fine. I think it'll work out just fine. Um, yeah, let's actually put Majin Vegeta there. And uh, we're just going to keep targeting Pycon. Uh, let's give all these orbs to Goku so he gets the extra 30% attack and defense. We also get a super off with Golden Frieza. So this this run has been going very, very smooth, actually. Um, we've been getting some good RNG, obviously, good orb RNG as well. But I mean a big part of it is honestly just that these these units are great, man. These two Go the, the Goku and the Vegeta, and also the EZA Majin Vegeta, all insane units. If I brought the you know, I, I said in the beginning, right, it, it would have been better if I brought the AGL EZA Goku, because he's duped out, he's rainbowed. But at the same time, it's two tech units, uh, two, two tech enemies at the end here, so it probably wouldn't have been that good of an option. Yeah, it probably would have, wouldn't have been that good of an option. Like on other stages, maybe the AGL Goku would be better just because obviously he's rainbowed, right? So he has 16,000 attack, he has like a good amount of defense, HP, all that stuff. But um, on this specific stage, I'm actually glad I brought the... the, the the Int Goku, because he makes a lot more sense here. All right, so still no transformation. That's okay. Uh, is the Whis gone now? The Whis is gone. Yes. Yeah, the Whis is gone, right? Because it's it's turn three of the fight. Turn two, turn, it's turn three, it's turn three. Okay, <laughs> I was confused for just a second. All right, we're gonna pop another, another Whis here. And I think that is probably the last item we'll have to use, at least hopefully. Um, yeah, one thing that's kind of annoying is the fact that the two Vegetas, like the, the Tech Vegeta and the STR Vegeta, they don't link super well, at least for key, before the Tech Vegeta transforms. As you can see, man, like... He only had, like the the second Vegeta we got good orbs, but like he only had what seven key to start, um, so you kind of need that transformation to have good key links with each other, right? So it's a little bit annoying. It's it's not like a huge deal because the transformation conditions are actually not that hard to meet, but um, I do wish that at the very least they shared like prepare for battle or something like that would have made it a little bit easier to get supers off before. Vegeta, the, the tech Vegeta transforms. Okay, there we go. We finally, um, I mean, we got the Majin Vegeta transformation once already, but we're finally getting the Goku transformation. There it is. The Super Saiyan 3 Goku is finally becoming Super Saiyan 3 Goku. So we got the double transformation. 
uh, rotation here. And we can definitely not get orbs with Goku. Wow. That sucks. Uh, I almost want to do this. But then if I do this... I mean, I want to give the tech orbs to him, but then we still can't get three orbs, can we? Can we get the STR orbs, actually? We might be able to get the STR orbs. Oh. Okay, that was not how I thought they were going to drop. Uh, wow, we were getting such good orb RNG up until now. Oh, what can you do? What can you do? That's how it goes sometimes. That's life, guys. That's life. All right. So, you know, kind of an exciting... <laughs> Uh, exciting turn that got ruined by bad orb RNG, but it's okay. At least we got to see the transformation animation one time. One time before this stage ended. And you know what? We're probably not going to kill him next turn. Yeah, I think it's unlikely we'll kill him, kill him next turn, so we should be able to get at least one more turn here. At least one more turn here. Okay, so I'm going to put Golden Frieza here. I'm going to put the Easy A Vegeta here. Uh, Golden Freezer can just take the one orb, doesn't really matter. And we'll give one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight orbs to the Easy A Vegeta. 148k defense. Good enough. And we'll give. Give these. No. I'm gonna save it. I'm gonna save it. I'm gonna save those orbs for the Vegeta on the next turn. My Vegeta. Alright, even though I know the friend one is better. I know the friend one's better. I still prefer. To give more orbs to my own just because he's mine i don't know if that's like a weird thing i don't know if you guys have that but i i prefer to use my own unit over the friend unit just because like it's mine man i don't care if, if his is better like i'd rather use mine <laughs> i'm weird like that okay uh oh screw that yo you know what let's give these to goku and Majita can take like four orbs whatever and even though Cell has no super, I mean, I think with the type of advantage with the, uh, with the defense, I don't think he would get us killed. He shouldn't get us killed. Alright, so 23 damage there. 2.2 mil with the super. Not bad, not bad. And we're gonna hit for 1.4. Okay, so here's the enemy super. Yo, please... Bro, dodge that. <laughs> you gotta dodge that. It's okay, we didn't take that much. We didn't take that much. I I want to see the dodge though. Oh, there's the Yeah, there's the um the stun. I'm I was kind of shocked actually to see a stun because I'm not used to seeing stuns in stages since you, you don't usually get stuns, right? When it comes to like uh you know, a lot of battlefield enemies or infinite dragon ball history or uh legendary goku event which i've been running a lot these days so wow yeah i was, I was surprised there to see that but okay got the stun off don't have to really worry about this turn um 181,000 defense from majin vegeta by the way i <laughs> i gotta say i i feel like i actually enjoy using the eza majin vegeta more than the Dokkan Fest Majin Vegeta. At least, I mean, it's probably because my, you know, tech Vegeta has no dupes, whereas this guy is rainbowed. The EZA one's rainbowed, so that probably is the difference. Like, if I had a rainbowed tech Vegeta, I'm sure it would be the other way around, but right now, since my tech Vegeta is at 55%, my rainbow Vegeta is at, um, what is it, uh, 100%, right? I feel like I actually prefer to use him over the like the, the Easy A Vegeta over the Majin Vegeta. Wait, no, hold on. They're both Majin Vegeta. Easy A over Dokkan Fest. I mean, it, it, a big part of it is like they really just made that Easy A Vegeta so freaking good. Like he's a monster. He could he rivals a lot of Dokkan Fest Easy A's in my opinion, man. Like he could have been a Dokkan Fest Easy A. That's how good they made him. Anyways. That is the run, guys. Uh, it set a new record, actually. What's my old record? Let me see. Old record was... What? It took me 28 minutes to beat it before? That's way too long. What was I doing before? <laughs> what was I doing before? Anyways, we used four items, so still saved half the items. 
and uh, only took us 23 minutes, which is five minutes, almost a full five minutes left, or, or uh, shorter than my previous run. That kind of blows my mind, I'm not gonna lie, but uh, that was fun, guys. That was a very, very efficient and quick run. Shout out to, what was that guy's name? Kebop or something? Kelop? For the assist right there. And, uh, you know, I'll, I usually end off the video with like a unit on my screen, right? I was gonna do one of these guys, but I feel like the MVP of that run was definitely this dude right here. So we're gonna leave him as the unit on rotation or on the screen as we finish off this video. So there you go, guys. The resurrect resurrected warrior stage of Super Battle Road completely conquered, completely annihilated by this resurrected warriors team with the two new Dokkan Fest Super Saiyan 2s, as well as this absolutely monstrous Easy A Majin Vegeta. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, and as always, if you guys liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you wanna stay up to date with all my latest content. And uh, I'll be back very soon with more videos as always so stay tuned for those guys but uh that's it that's all i gotta say um until next time hope you guys have a fantastic fantastic day i'm tiger with tiger uppercut media signing out